Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Steve. Now, today's video, it's going to be a tutorial for real VR fishing. But before I get into any of that, I want to ask you a favour. If you enjoy real VR fishing, if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy VR horror games, if you enjoy any sort of VR content, and you're watching videos on my channel and they're helpful or you find them enjoyable, leave a subscribe, guys. Press the subscribe button. Press the little like on the videos. Um, it's my birthday coming up on Tuesday and I'd absolutely love it to be able to get up to 100 subscribers by Tuesday. Um, not quite there. I'm uh, almost on 60 subscribers and thank you to all of those people who have subscribed. But, if you could just give a little tap on the subscribe button, it doesn't take two seconds, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, for today's video, uh, like I said, I am going to be getting into real VR fishing again. Today, though, I'm going to be taking it back to the very, very basics of the game. Uh, we're going to be looking at the mechanics of the fishing, basically what to do to fish. Um, I'm going to have a little look at the equipment, the rods, the reels, the lures, um, and just basically what to do and how to fish. So I think for now guys, we'll just jump straight into it. Right, here we are guys, we're, uh, we're out on the boat ready, we're out on a, a lake, beautiful location. Um, first thing we're going to talk about are the different types of rods that we have, okay? Now, we've got salt water and fresh water spinning and casting rods. Um, and we've also got uh, fresh water and salt water spinning and casting reels okay now i'll be honest um i wouldn't get too hung up on which rod to use to catch what because i'll i'll be honest with you i've caught tiger sharks using the spinning rod so I wouldn't get too hung up on that, guys. I know there's a lot of questions out there whether spinning rod or casting rod will help catch certain spe uh, certain fish species. Um, from my experience, I've caught everything with both rods, I'll be honest. Now, the one thing I will say, um, obviously at the moment this is going to show fresh water because we're in a, a lake. Um, with the spinning and casting rods, you do have different levels, okay? So, obviously you've got the uh, freshwater casting rod and you've got the uh, freshwater spinning rod. Both of these have three levels. You've got C, B and A. And as you can see from the numbers here, the distance, action, power and grade will increase as you go up through the grades, okay? So you've got freshwater casting rod C, they're the numbers. B, you can see they jump up quite a bit. And A, they go up even further, okay? What you've got then is you've also got saltwater casting rod and you've also got salt water spinning rod okay so as you can see guys you've got the salt water spinning reel you've got the fresh water spinning reel c b and a and again the numbers increase now the most important number here is the line length because that's going to allow you to cast out further in my experience you can be able to cast out further okay again on the casting rod You've got the saltwater casting reel. Then you've got the freshwater casting reel C. Here's the numbers. Reel B. 
and reel A. Now the difference between the spinning and casting rod and reel is the distance that you're able to cast out, okay? Casting rods will allow you to cast out further. Um, like I said, don't get too hung up on the different types of rods and reels uh, determining what fish you catch so much. The one reason I would say to level up in these rods and reels is because it will increase your strength and length of casting, okay? So you'll have a stronger line and you'll have a stronger further casting rod, okay? Which is going to help you. When it comes to the line snapping, getting a better rod and reel will help with that, okay? You'll probably find when you start fishing, the 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 on the normal mode you have your fish uh, you have your fishing monitor which will show you how much red you have on the line okay when you catch a fish obviously the bigger fish the more red but with the weaker line you'll also have more red as well okay so what I would say is don't worry about too much uh, what type of rod to use. But when you start this game, when you start fishing, release half of your catches so that you level up. And you can see I'm on level 20 there, which is the max level. That'll help you unlock more fish species and levels, um, locations. Okay, so release half and keep half so you get cash in the bank. You can see we've got the money up the top here. You need the cash to be able to buy the rods and the reels and the lures, okay? Now, the one thing that is going to determine what type of fish you catch are the lures, okay? Now, you've got the metal jig. You've got the crankbait, also large. You've got the minnow, which is for medium to large. You've got the soft bait, which is kind of for all. And you've got the spinner, small to medium. And the spoon. Now for me personally, most fish I caught were using the spoon and the spinner. Okay. Now there are going to be levels that you're going to get to where certain fish that you require, they will need to have a certain type of lure. Okay. It'll be a certain type of lure to catch certain fish species. So you'll have to keep an eye on that. All right. Now, for those of you who are interested in uh, catching sharks, okay, these these baits here, the metal jig, the crankbait, and the minnow, they're not really going to help you catch in sharks, okay? You need to go for, I would say, the spinner, and again, this is my own personal experience, and if you've seen from some of my other videos, I've, I've caught so many sharks, the spinner... And especially the spoon, they are going to catch the right type of fish in the salt water locations. They will catch the right type of fish, which will help you get a shark on. Okay? You can't get anything too big on your initial cast. Otherwise, the fish is going to be too big. It's not going to attract the sharks. So you've got to go for the smaller sized fish. And then when they're splashing about and thrashing around, that's what attracts the sharks, okay? Have a look at my shark hunting videos and you'll see what I mean, okay? Now, when it comes to the fishing itself, as you can see here, I am on normal mode. And on normal mode, you do have the glasses that come on and it allows you to see the fish out in the water, okay? Now, I'll explain to you the colours of these fish. You'll get green. Most of these are green and yellow. Sometimes you'll get red. Now, at the moment, I've got the spoon lure on. Let's have a look at that, see if I can get it closer. So I've got the spoon lure on. So what this is telling me here is the green fish will definitely be interested in this lure. The yellow fish 
there's a chance that they may get on, okay? Now, if you use your right uh, thumbstick and push left or right, you can see that you go through the different lures. Now, if you look at the fish out here, as I'm going through the lures, you can hear the beeps. You can see these fish changing colour. So with this, now, this is for catching large, large fish. Well, if you look, most of these have turned red. None of these fish are going to be interested in this because this is for catching large, large species, okay? That's what these fish colours mean, all right? As you can see, still mostly red. That's the crankbait. Back to the spoon. Mostly green and yellow now. So this would probably be... Yeah, we've got the soft bait on. That's not looking too bad. But this spoon, this is going to be your best bet for catching a fish. Okay? So that's what the lures mean with regards to the colours of these fish. Okay? It's not necessarily about the size of fish or anything like that. It... it, it it kind of is because these lures determine what type of fish you're going to catch. So, like, if I get the large fishing bait on, you can see that not many of these fish are going to be large fish. So for this particular location right now, the worm or the spoon is the best bet, okay? For playing on normal and hard on normal you've got the fish out in the water on hard you have the fish radar which we'll have a look at in a minute the fish radar also shows you the color of the fish and that is dependent on the lure that you're using okay so always go for the green fish use the lure that will attract the most fish and that will help you catch more than if, if all of these fish were red, you're going to struggle to catch something. Okay, guys? Right, so the next thing we're going to look at is the fishing mechanics. Okay? Now, you've got the trigger here to hold. Now, obviously, this is for casting. You hold the trigger, pull the rod back, so the lure is there and as you cast forward you leave the trigger go and it simply casts in okay again with reeling you use your opposite hand and you use the buttons here to grip hold and a nice steady reel to bring in okay now obviously I didn't cast anywhere where the fish were because I don't want to bring anything in just yet but again You've got your trigger, hold the trigger, pull back, forward and let go, and you've got a lovely cast. Now the harder you do that, the further out you will cast, okay? Let's just bring this in nice and smooth. Okay, here we are guys, I'm going to cast out to these fish by you, and we're going to have a look at the line colours, okay? Okay, so there's a fish interested, and you can see the line has gone red. Okay, so when it goes bright red, you wanna... Oh, he's still there. Okay, so I've got a fish interested. Strike the fish. When that is showing orange, or when this reel is spinning, don't do anything. Now you can start reeling. If I leave it go too slack, see the line going blue? And that means the fish is going to jump off. And there we go. When the line goes blue, it means that there's too much slack in the line. And you're going to lose the fish, okay? So you've got to keep it out of the blue, alright? Now I'm going to show you what happens when it goes into the red. Okay, again the line goes a pale red because there's a fish interested. It'll go bright red when it bites. And I'm going to...
pull up on the rod to catch the fish. He's putting up a fight. You can see the yellow there. You can see the rod going. Don't do anything. I don't want it in the blue. So I'm going to reel. Now, ultimately, you want to keep... You can see the blue bar. You want to keep it in the middle. Now, if I go all the way around to the red, the line goes bright red, and the fish jumps off. And that's because the line is snapped. Okay, you guys? So you don't want the line blue. You don't want the line red. Okay? Now... With the blue and the red, you can feel vibrations in the controller. The vibration in the controller gets very aggressive when it's on red and it's about to snap. The controller goes very quiet when it's in the blue and that's because it's too slack. There's no tension in the line, okay? So try and feel for the vibrations or the quietness in the controller. Try and feel that when you're fishing as well, guys, okay? Because that'll help you when you move on to harder levels, okay? Now, the other two line colours are white, when there's nothing happening, and also green. So we've got another fish on. You can see, as long as I keep in the middle of the blue and the red, my line is white, okay? Now, if the line is white, it means that you're doing a good job. Okay. When fish jump and you snap quickly with the rod and it knocks the fish out, the line is going to go green. And when that line goes green, that means that you can reel in as quick as you can because the fish is knocked out, okay? Now, I don't know if this fish is going to jump. Okay, so I'm keeping, as you can see, the line is white. I'm keeping in between the blue and the red, and it's happy, okay? Now, when the fish starts to run side to side, you're going to want to move in the direction the arrow points. So it's either going to be up, left, or right, okay? Basically, it's the opposite direction to the, to the fish running. Okay, so you can see me moving my rod... And it went up into the red, then I let it go, okay? So when the fish run, move in the direction away from the fish. Now that there was a snap. When the fish jumps, this particular fish monitor shows you what direction to pull in. Now when you move up to harder levels, you're not going to have this fish monitor. So basically, you want to snap your rod very aggressively in the opposite direction to the fish jumping, okay? Careful not to go up into the red. I'm reeling really slowly here, guys, just to give you a good example. Now, that was the snap. Now, see the line colour green? And you can see the fish is knocked out. When that line is green, you can reel like hell to get the fish in, okay? And on normal mode, you see the logo of the fish, the icon of the fish. It'll have dizzy eyes because it's knocked out, okay? It's been stunned. Again, pull up when it shows up. If you don't snap when the fish jump, and if you don't go in the opposite direction to when the fish run, you will have a hard time getting the fish in, okay? Now you can see the line is green and it's telling me to bring the fish in, okay? I'm just gonna keep that. Okay, so again, on the fish logo that you have, when the fish is running in the whichever direction, you pull in the opposite direction. When the fish jumps in a particular direction, you snap your rod back in the opposite direction and it'll stun the fish, okay? Always keep your... Always keep your... reel in the middle of that monitor. You can see the blue bar will go around. Let me see if I get something. There we are. It's gone pale red, look, because there's something interested. Now we're just going to wait. We can see the line dipping. 
As soon as the fish is on, I'm going to snap up. And then we can watch that fish monitor start reeling. He's putting up a bit of a fight. Don't do anything. Now we can start reeling, guys, okay? So I'm keeping an eye on the monitor. The fish is running. I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm keeping out to the blue, because if it's blue, it's going to release. And I'm also not going all the way up to the red, otherwise it will snap, okay? Now again, I'm keeping it in the middle. If the fish jumps like it just did, snap in the opposite direction to the jump. Because if you don't, you will end up losing distance on the fish, okay? It's not so much of a bigger deal with these smaller fish. But when you are out saltwater fishing and you're catching sharks or mahi-mahi or tuna, if you don't snap when it jumps, the fish will run very, very quickly, okay? And there's the snap, okay? There's the snap. Now, it didn't make the fish dizzy. Try and keep that bar in the middle. Feel the vibrations when you're doing this to know what's going on. It'll help you level up. Okay, it'll help you level up, guys. I'm going in the opposite direction. Opposite direction. He's dizzy. Reel in, reel in, reel in. The line is green, lock. Reel in, reel in. And a snap as well, okay? I want to avoid the red. I want to make sure I keep the line tension on. Line tension. I'm not leaving it go down into the blue. There's the snap. Now it didn't stun him, but it did allow me to reel in quite a bit, okay? Now we're just, you can go all the way up to the red. But don't go past that red, otherwise you can see the line getting... See how, see how bright red the line gets? See that? You don't want that to happen. And at this point, the line is green. And you've successfully caught your fish. Okay, so this is just an example of the next level up, guys. This is on hard, okay? I've still got the line help on, okay? I no longer have the fish out in the water. However, I do have the fish finder. Now, as you can see from the fish finder, as I turn, I can see where the fish are. There's my rod, and you can see as I'm moving my rod, my line of casting is shown on here. So I know right out there, there's two fish that are going to be happy for this lure because they're showing as green, okay? Now, as soon as I go to cast, this will disappear. And then I've just got to wait to see if something bites, okay? Remember, the colours of these fish change as I change the lure. Take a look up there at the lure. As I change the lure, the colour of these fish change. That is because... The red isn't going to likely bite the green R, okay? There we are, guys. That's everything that you're going to need to know how to fish on normal mode. Um, I'll just step out of the game right now, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a second. Uh, well, there we are, guys. That was fishing on normal mode, okay? So for everybody who's beginning... Um, I covered there the, the equipment. Again, don't get too hung up on whether it's a spinning or a casting rod. The most important part really are the, the lures. It's the lures that will determine what fish you catch, okay? Um, we looked at the fish monitor, the movement of the fish there, the, fish, the, the, the mechanics of the fishing as well. Um, always remember when the fish jump, You've got to get that snap. 
it's not so important with the smaller fish but when you start stepping up your levels and you start catching those big fish especially saltwater fishing that snap is really really important okay guys you've got to get that snap on the fish the big fish the sharks it's really gonna help okay um, remember line help uh, red pale red means you're getting close to the line snapping bright red means that it's about to snap white and green means that you're in the happy place and uh, or possibly the fish are knocked out so that means you've got a reel like hell um, blue on the line your line is too slack you need to reel like hell to get the tension back to either white or possibly green if the fish is tired it may go green okay um, let me know what you think leave it in the comments below if that's been any help to you guys um, I'd love to hear how you do now in my um, next video if you want help on hard mode or if you want a video on expert mode then drop it in the comments below uh, as it goes I've never actually played multiplayer on this game and I am looking to do uh, an up-and-coming video based on multiplayer now if anybody's interested in jumping in a multiplayer game with me if you've never caught a shark and you want to help catch in sh uh, a shark or anything like that drop it in the comments below let me know and uh, we can sort something out and um, uh, you know maybe get a, a video done basically showing everything that can be done in multiplayer as well for for today guys that's it um i hope you've enjoyed please subscribe like i said earlier i'd love to get up to 100 uh, subscribers uh by tuesday for my birthday that would be really appreciated if you like the video leave a little like um and anything you've got to say please leave it in the comments below but until the next video Bye-bye, guys.